Learn and play online. Forms of kinetic energy. Please check out our other videos that explain what energy is and the different forms of potential energy. Now let's start this video with a quick recap. Energy is the ability to do work. The different forms of energy can be described as either being potential energy or kinetic energy. And today we will be exploring forms of kinetic energy, which include mechanical energy, thermal energy, electrical energy, sound energy, and radiant energy. Kinetic energy is moving energy. And the first form of kinetic energy we will look at is mechanical energy, also known as motion energy. Mechanical or motion energy is energy that we can see because it is simply the energy of motion. It doesn't apply to just living things like us. Machines have motions too. Take this robot for example. It is demonstrating kinetic energy in the form of mechanical energy as it moves. Here is another example. The ball is static at the moment. It possesses potential energy, which means it has stored energy until a force comes along to move it. Once the ball has been kicked, that potential energy transforms into motion energy as it flies across the field and into the goal. Moving on to the next form of kinetic energy is thermal energy. Thermal energy is also commonly known as heat energy, and it is when there is a rise in temperature and an object produces heat as a result. Now you may be wondering why thermal energy is considered as a form of kinetic energy. That's because the atoms and molecules contained in objects that produce thermal energy are moving at an incredibly fast rate. You can't actually see the atoms or molecules because they are the tiniest cells or particles of an object. But if you were able to see the movement of the atoms and molecules, it would look similar to this when thermal energy is present. The hotter the object or heat produced, the faster the movement of the particles will be. The next form of kinetic energy that we will discuss is electrical energy. Our modern day lives are dominated by electrical energy. It has become a crucial part of our everyday activities, from television to iPads, to cooking appliances and lights in our homes. Just like thermal energy, electrical energy is a form of kinetic energy, even though we cannot see it moving. We know that electrical energy moves though, because of the results of what it can produce, like light and heat. Electrical energy is a result of electrons moving around a circuit and providing electrical power to gadgets, devices and machinery that need electricity to work. The electrons are constantly flowing and only stop when there is a breakage in their path. So when you turn off an electrical device, you are breaking the path for the electrons to flow, putting an end to the electrical energy it needed to operate. Did you know that lightning is a natural form of electrical energy? Lightning strikes are extremely dangerous and can even be fatal for us humans if we are ever struck by one. Let's now move on to the next form of kinetic energy, sound energy. Sound energy is energy that we can hear and it is produced through vibrations of matter. It travels through other matter like water or air. And it moves in the form of waves. Think of sound energy as a domino effect. Once a sound is produced, The vibrations bounce from one particle to another, whether it's traveling through water, air or gas, and it keeps going until the sound energy weakens and eventually stops. Now we've reached the last form of kinetic energy we will explore today, which is radiant energy. Radiant energy is a form of what's known as electromagnetic energy. It is described as a form of kinetic energy because the electromagnetic radiation, which is made up of tiny particles called photons, move in the form of a wave. There are different types of radiant energy, including X-rays, gamma rays, radio waves, sunshine and light. Light energy is the only form of radiant energy that is visible to the human eye. The wavelength of the photons depend on the type of radiation being used. For example, radio waves have low energy photons, while X-rays have higher energy photons. Even though we cannot see electromagnetic waves besides the photons used for light energy, radiant energy is a part of our everyday lives. The electromagnetic waves transform kinetic energy into other forms of energy that we use, including microwaves, television, communication, and medical imaging. Thanks for watching! Please remember to subscribe for more videos.